Most of Donna Bozeman's family didn't know she had served in World War II until she opened up an old trunk and they saw the contents. Our Joan Hallmark brings us the story in tonight's Freedom Fighters. We had to learn to march so that they could move us rapidly. Donna Bozeman hadn't planned on going into the service when she graduated from nursing school in 1940. But when her country called in 42, she couldn't turn it down. I got the letter saying, Tulane Reserve Unit, LSU Reserve Unit, need 240 nurses, please go down and sign up. Donna sailed in August of 1943 to North Africa as a member of the 24th General Hospital Unit. Her convoy was the first of its kind to sail through the Straits of Gibraltar through submarine-infested waters. We had an alert, and then there was a big bang, and the ship uh, uh, shook. And I think we got the submarine. A hospital was set up in deserted North Africa to take care of the many wounded from the Anzio Beach invasion in Italy. I had two of those units, and I, they filled both of them up in about 15 or 20 minutes. With 64 patients to care for, Donna says there was no time to be scared, even when the hospital was strafed by German fighters. After Anzio was won, the army went very rapidly across Italy. The 24th general moved from North Africa to Naples, Rome, and then to Florence as the war raged. After the southern France invasion, they moved us to Florence, and we got the rest of the Italian battles, and we got the casualties from the Bulge. With close to 90,000 American casualties, the Battle of the Bulge was the largest and bloodiest battle fought in World War II. In addition to the wounds of war, infectious diseases were rampant. We had a lot of hepatitis, malaria, pneumonia, that sort of stuff. Donna returned home in September of 1946 and spent the next 32 years in civilian nursing before retiring in 1978. Most of Donna's family didn't know she had been an army nurse in World War II until she pulled out her old steamer trunk full of uniforms. I got it out in 2003. Uniforms, all my itinerary memorabilia was in the tray of that trunk. In describing her time as a U.S. Army nurse in World War II, Donna Boseman simply calls it a privilege. In Gladewater, for Freedom Fighters, Joan Hallmark, KLTV 7 News. If you or someone you know served our country in combat, we'd love to hear from you. Send your information to Freedom Fighters, 105 West Ferguson, Tyler, Texas, 75702. We'll be right back.